Eurotourguide.com presents to you places of interest from this informative website. This short clip is on Santa Pola, a traditional fishing town which is also famous for farming salt. As you arrive into Santa Pola, you will notice its huge expanse of salt wetlands. These areas farm the salt used for the roads in northern Europe. It is also a migratory home of the flamingo and other species of birds. Arriving in the town centre, call into the tourist office for information on the salt museum and the wetlands, as well as the castle which houses local museums for the salt and the sea, as well as a small chapel. Walking down onto the seafront, you will find Santa Pola's new marina, a great place to read the papers, drink coffee and marvel at the huge yachts within these stylish moorings. Continuing along the front, you will come to the fishing port, still active today. All the nets and crates along with the strong smell of the day's catch really add to the atmosphere as the older generation watch their sons and grandsons return after a day at sea. Santa Pola has an excellent promenade stretching along its 11 kilometers of beaches and coves. To the south, the kite and windsurfers enjoy the great conditions. Centrally, the promenades are full of cafes and traditional fish restaurants. Heading north, you can carry on all the way to neighboring Alicante. The coves are great for strolls looking out to the island of Tabarca and along the cliffs and unspoiled coastline towards Gran Alacan, one of our recommended scenic drives. In summary, Santa Pola is a seaside town with an unusual economic tradition. Lots of beautiful coastline with kilometres of flat promenades to work up your appetite as you enjoy what charm the town has on offer. Visit the website for all our other short clips. Thank you for watching and have fun exploring.